Knicks family, what's poppin'? It's your boy. Ladies and gentlemen, the Knicks lost to the Bucks last night in a battle. And here's my five takeaways. Number one, the Knicks struggle to hold leads. We've seen it time and time again this season. And what is the cause and what is the answer? Is it because they go cold? Right now, the bench is giving the Knicks nothing. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Or is it lack of talent? I mean, they have talent. They're 22 and 19 on the season. So they clearly have enough talent to be above 500. If they were able to hold leads, how much better would their record be? Anyway, they got to figure it out, ladies and gentlemen. They want to make the playoffs. They got to figure it out. RJ is needed. And not because he's this superior athlete or this superstar player. It's because the Knicks need the depth. Ladies and gentlemen, last night the bench scored nine points combined compared to the Bucks bench who scored 35 points. Emmanuel quickly, Julius Randle, Jalen Brunson, these guys are logging anywhere from 38, 39 to 45 minutes. They're going to wear down. And I know there's an argument about Cam not playing, but put him out of your mind. He's not hitting the floor. The Knicks need bench help. And one of those ways is to get RJ back, quickly can go back to the bench, and now you have more depth. You have more versatility in your lineup. The Knicks need RJ back, ladies and gentlemen. Randall, he seems lost in clutch situations. And I don't know if this is another one of those growing moments for Julius Randle, but there are times when it doesn't look like he knows what to do in those situations. He's tentative. Last night he wasn't shooting well, so I can understand where he's a little bit tentative to shoot the ball, but you still got to be aggressive. For this basketball team, Julius Randle, you are one of the primary players. You Jalen Brunson, R.J. Barrett. You got to be aggressive at every point of the basketball game, even if you're not scoring or not shooting efficiently. But Jalen Brunson, ladies and gentlemen, is ice cold. 44 points last night. And for a second, I thought he was going to bring the Knicks to the promised land. He was unsuccessful. What I really like, though, about Brunson is in the postgame presser, he didn't talk about the 44 points. He talked about areas in which he made mistakes, shots that he took that maybe he should not have taken. You got to love the leadership of Jalen Brunson and what he's been giving the Knicks so far greatly exceeds his contract. Jalen Brunson is ice cold, ladies and gentlemen. And then my last takeaway is can the Knicks figure it out? Can they figure out how to win these games? This team so far has been like a sponge. It's like they soak in information and then they're able to spit it back out uh, in success. Can they continue to do that throughout the season? Jalen Brunson, new to the starting lineup. Isaiah Hartenstein, new to the bench, and, you know, he's probably going to go further down the bench, I think. You know, because his defense is lacking a little bit. But can the Knicks learn how to win these basketball games? This is the next evolution of this basketball team. Obviously, you might need other guys. You might need that star player. But this is what you have right now, and they've got to learn. Can they figure it out? It's a question for the remainder of the season, ladies and gentlemen.